Hi, I'm Tony Williams with QC Charge in beautiful San Marcos, California, in North San Diego County. Today we're going to talk about the Quick 220. That allows you to charge your electric vehicle with 120 volt outlets, but to combine them together and make 240 volts, the Quick 220 is just this box, and it comes with two 120 volt electrical plugs, and it also comes with a tester. We recommend in addition to that, that you have an extension cable like this one that's either a 10 gauge or 12 gauge commercial quality extension cable. So the first thing we want to do is take the receptacle end of the uh, extension cable and plug that into one end of the Quick 220. It's real simple, just plug it in just like you would in a lamp or anything else. Nothing will light up but eventually we're going to want to have that light go orange. So the next step is to grab the other end of the extension cable and we're going to plug it into the wall. We're going to pick this outlet right here. First there's the tester. We want to plug the tester in and see it light up like that. When it's lit up it'll tell you that it's all normal. So there's instructions right on top that tells you what's normal and what's not normal. Pull that out. Plug in the extension cable. Now we're ready to move to the next step. So we're going to take our testing plug and we're going to take the unit with us and we need to plug the other end into something and we want that light to turn orange. So let's find another plug. Okay. I'm going to test this plug right here on this extension. It's a plug we have right over there. Once again, I'm going to do the test. And there they are, lit up orange like it's supposed to. I don't need the tester anymore. And now, when I plug this in, you're going to see that light go orange. There you go. You heard a click. Light went orange. It's ready to go. Just make sure that the circuit breaker on the side of the unit is turned on. So I can click that to the on position. And make sure there's no damage or anything to the unit. Now that it's energized, it's ready for the next step, which is to plug in to the NEMA 6-15 outlet. So that is a 15 amp, 208 to 240 volt outlet. Generally speaking, most, if not almost all, electric vehicle portable charging equipment will not have a 615 plug. So thankfully, we make an adapter. We call it the Quick 220 adapter, but here's the bad side to it. This can cause all kinds of problems if you don't use it with the proper charge cable. It can only be used with Tesla portable charge equipment or with the Chevrolet Bolt EV, Bolt with a B, or with the Volt with a V 2016 model year and newer, not with the older ones. Also the Fiat 500E and finally the Chrysler Pacifica plug-in hybrid. There may be other cars also, but these are the only ones we've tested and can tell you for sure that the original portable charge cable that came with those cars will work with Quick 220 and charge at double the speed that you would from a normal outlet. So let's go ahead and plug that right in. It goes right into the box just as you would plug in anything else. On the other end, we're going to plug into a portable charge cable. This is our Jesla Junior. That plugs into all cars sold in North America including Tesla if you use the Tesla adapter. The Tesla adapter is simply what comes with every Tesla car that was ever delivered except for the original Roadster and that just plugs on the end like this and that can plug into a Tesla car. But today we're going to plug it into a conventional car, a non-Tesla car and the way we're going to do that is we're going to take the, the plug-in, male plug-in end that goes into the wall normally and we're going to plug that into our adapter. So that goes in here There you go. That lights up green. It's telling you it's ready to go. Then the other end we're going to plug into the car. And if it's doing its job, these lights on this particular car will come up and tell you it's charging. And there it goes. And you heard a clunk. Now the car is already charging. And then on our Jesla Junior, the box itself will be scrolling and telling you that it's supplying power. 
the, the actual power going into the car is now 208 up to 240 volts depending on what's available at 12 amps. I'm going to stop the charge on that. I'm going to show you how it works on a Tesla. So we're going to unplug it, close this door, and this is what comes with every Tesla car that uh, is delivered. It's this unit right here. You get the Tesla adapter that I showed you earlier. You get the portable charge unit that looks very much like our Jesla Junior. And normally it will come with just a normal household plug. So you can do one of two things. You can buy the NEMA 6-15 plug. That's available from Tesla. It's also available from QC Charge on our website. Or you can use our adapter as I showed before, the Quick 220 adapter. So let's do, uh, actually let's do the 615 one since I already showed you how the adapter works. We'll put the 615 plug into the portable charge cable. Tesla calls this a mobile connector. We're gonna unplug our adapter and plug in the mobile connector with a 615 plug, just like that, super easy. We still have the orange light. This, this lit up to tell you that it's ready to go. And now that it's energized, there's two ways, actually more than two ways, but at least two ways to get the charge port to open on your Tesla car. If the car is locked, like my Model X, you'll have to unlock it. You can do that with the app or with the phone. If the car were unlocked, and I'm gonna unlock it now, on this Model X, the door opens, but you can just push that and it'll open. Another way to do it is to hit the button right here on the plug. When you do that, that opens. The third way to open the charge port door is to hold the trunk on your key fob and just hold it until that door opens. There's actually a fourth way you can open it with the app on your mobile phone, on an iPhone or Galaxy or whatever kind of phone you may have. So anyway, we're just gonna plug it in. That'll change colors once it starts charging, going to green. And then if we look back at our portable charge cable, I'll shut this door. The portable charge cable is showing the scrolling little lights. Our light is still orange right here on the, the Quick 220 to show you that it's making 208 up to 240 volts. Some final words of caution, make sure that extension cable that you use, if you get it from Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever hardware store you buy it online, make sure it is a 10 gauge or a 12 gauge at a minimum. I recommend at least 12 gauge. Secondly, make sure that whatever portable charge cable you're using is one of the ones we listed. If you use one outside of that, uh, it, it will be on you to figure out whether or not it can actually handle the 240 volts. You may actually burn it up. So only use it with known portable charge cables that can handle 240 volts. There's some aftermarket ones also that will do it like the Clipper Creeks and, and others and our Jesla Junior that we sell. Uh, also our Go Cable will also work at 120, 208, or 240 volts. I'm Tony Williams with QC Charge and thanks for watching.